this juncture, we humbly want to invite Apostle Dr. Daniel Ocherwalker, the area head for Tapa and the RCC coordinator for Western and Western North regions to come and give us some exhortation. Touch me, O oh Lord, and set me ablaze. Touch my eyes and my ears. Help me to see and hear you clearly. I will fulfill my divine call. touch us so that we will fulfill our divine call. Thank you, Chairman, for this opportunity. Shall we take our Bibles quickly and turn to the book of Judges, chapter 11. Judges, chapter 11. We read some portions from verse 29. Judges, chapter 11 from 29 reading from the niv then the spirit of the lord came upon jephthah he crossed gilead and manasseh passed through mispah of gilead and from there he advanced against the ammonites and jephthah made a vow to the lord if you give the ammonites into my hands whatever comes out of the door of my house to meet me when I return in triumph from the Ammonites will be the Lord's and I will sacrifice it as a burnt offering. Jump into verse 34. When Jephthah returned to his home in Mizpah, who should come out to meet him but his daughter dancing to the sound of tambourines? She was an only child. Except for her, he had neither son nor daughter. When he saw her, he tore his clothes and cried, Oh, my daughter, you have made me miserable and wretched because I have made a vow to the Lord that I cannot break. And I'm speaking briefly on the topic, Do Not Break your ministerial vows do not break your ministerial vows oftentimes we take vows we take oaths we give promises uh, we make covenants and all that but sometimes in haste or in a mess of excitement we give out these vows without deep thinking and concentration and sometimes after we have given the vows, 
we forget about them. We do not make effort to make sure we keep our vows. And so we may give our marital vows, business vows, and so forth. And later on, you see all kinds of marriage problems because people find it difficult to keep their vows. But when you make a vow to the Lord, Numbers chapter 30, verse 2 says, Numbers 30 and verse 2, when a man makes a vow to the Lord or takes an oath to obligate himself by a pledge, he must not break his word, but must do everything he said. And Deuteronomy 23, 21 reads, If you make a vow to the Lord your God, do not be slow to pay it, for the Lord your God will certainly demand it of you, and you will be guilty of sin. We read the vow that Jephthah made. Jephthah was a Gileadite. Um, his father was a Gilead, the mother a prostitute. Um, and so when he was growing up and maybe the father had died, the siblings said that we don't want to share our inheritance with you. And so they threw him out of the house. He went somewhere, scripture says, in the land of Tob. And some, he has some followers. And eventually, this man Jephthah became a mighty warrior. That's how scripture describes him. He became a mighty warrior. Some time later, the Ammonites made war with Israel. And when the elders of Gilead wanted somebody to lead them, remember that we have somebody called Jephthah. We threw him out of town, but we need him. And so they went for him. A rejected person has now been called to deliver Israel, to become a leader. And they promised him that if you are able to lead us to win this battle, we'll make you the head of our nation, the head of the family. And looking at us sitting here as ministers, officers of the church, we were also rejected somewhere all the way down there in darkness. But scripture says that we were called out of darkness and we are brought to his marvelous light. Paul talks about us in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 1 Corinthians 1 from verse 26. 1 Corinthians 1, 26. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are. This morning in our session, our elders spoke to us about grace. So grace found us and brought us this far. And scripture says that it is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God. That is our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. So if you have anything, it is the Lord. And so when Jephthah realized that he cannot win the battle by his own self, he trusted in his God. And so Hebrew lists him as one of the men of faith. And when God has fulfilled his part, he also made a vow and said, God, if you help me, I am vowing. And verse 29 says that then the spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah. He crossed Gilead, Manasseh, and then God fulfilled his portion. And then when God fulfilled it, he also had to fulfill his vow. And so after the battle, he traveled home. And scripture says when he returned to his home in Mizpah, who should come out to meet him but if you talk about his wife? So maybe all he had was the daughter. Except for her, he had neither son nor daughter. And when he saw her, he tore his clothes and cried, Oh, my daughter, you have made me miserable and wretched because... I have made a vow to the Lord that I cannot break. Call him back. 
Remember the day that you were called with that tears and a humble heart and said, oh God, I thank you for counting me worthy to be called into the ministry. And then as overseers, we were all up and doing, doing the work of God like never before. Gradually, four years passed, five years passed, some of us three years. And then we were called into the pastorate. Now, when we are being prayed and ordained into the pastorate, there are vows that we take. And the vow number one in our handbook says that, are your motives for entering into ministry? Number one, zeal for the glory of God, love for the Lord Jesus Christ, obedience to the Holy Spirit, desire for the salvation of mankind. And those of us who are pastors and beyond here said, yes, they are. So our motives for coming into ministry is nothing but the glory of God. That the glory of God will be seen in our lives. That the glory of God will be seen in the church. That the glory of God will be seen in the nations. That was our vow to the Lord. That we have entered ministry for nothing but your glory. And also for the love that we have for the Lord Jesus Christ. So we are here because we love Jesus and nothing else. Of course, that is what we said. And we said we obey the Holy Spirit. And our motive for entering ministry is that we want souls to be saved. And we said, yes, they are. Our next vow that we took on that day was that you affirm and you have believed in the fundamental doctrines of the Christian faith. And that is the tenets of the church. And we all said, yes, I do. And I like the way how it is written that even if you are many, they want you to respond individually so that you own the vow or the covenant. Number three vow that we took was that approval of the worship of the church. Do you approve of our worship? Our style of praying, fasting, kneeling, lifting up hands to the glory of the Lord. Our belief in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Developing of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Our way of praising our God. Singing and clapping and dancing, shaking tambourines, playing instruments, and all that. And our response was this, yes, I do. Then our next vow was this. Would you faithfully discharge your ministerial duties by preaching the word, administering the sacraments, preaching only Christ and him crucified and risen, shepherding the flock, faithfully ministering to the flock, especially the poor, the sick, and the weak? Will you be faithful to your calling in season and out of season, ministering not only to Christians, but to others also. And for this, our vow was this, I will do so, the Lord being my helper. You realize that it is getting tough and scary. But when I was reading this over, I said, did I say this, all these on the day of my ordination? And we said we will. For time, so let me move on to the next one. Number five is... We were asked whether we'll consecrate our whole time and strength to the service of the Lord in the church. And whether we'll be at the Lord's disposal when he calls, calls to the mountains and to the valleys and on plains and on seas, wherever, difficult terrains and easy terrains. And the next one is even more scary. It says, are you willing to suffer hardship and if need be, even death for his sake? And we all, maybe like Jephthah, we were not thinking through very well. And we said, I will do so, the Lord being my helper. Now, whether we thought through it or not, we are in it. Before I say the last one, let me tell you a story and then I will end. About this rich man 
who wanted a suitor for his daughter. So he invited a young man who will take over his estate, a millionaire. And so people had come around. And then the simple test was that if you're able to swim across this river, you will inherit my estate and marry my daughter. The young people said, oh, this one is very easy. As they were standing there, they saw a helicopter releasing crocodiles, alligators into the pond. So people get scared, got scared. Oh, this man wants us to feed us uh, to his animals. We are not ready for it. Whilst all of them were standing and thinking about it, they saw a young man in the river, in the pond. And before people could say Jack, he had swum across the pond. Everybody was surprised. So they were clapping for him. Oh, so such a brave young man. The millionaire applauded him. And when people were applauding him, he turned around and softly said, who pushed me? <laughs> so after all, it wasn't his idea. But he had been pushed in. And he had no choice but to swim or die. Whether you are pushed into ministry or not, sometimes people say, oh, my son, my daughter, so get in. You are already in. You have taken a vow. You have opened your mouth to the Lord. And you must not break your vow. The next best uh, vow we said was that, will you subject yourself to the Lord and uh, to the authority of the church of Pentecost? And that one too we said, I will do so, the Lord being my helper. And then the last one that we were told was that we were given was this. Would you be diligent to frame and fashion your life and the life of your household according to the teachings of Jesus Christ? Will you make yourself and your family wholesome examples to the flock of Christ? And we all responded. I will do so, the Lord being my helper. For those of us who are officers, we were given one vow. Take time and read through it. But a bit of it, the last bit of the officer's vow, elders, deacons, and dignitaries say that you will submit yourself to the higher office in all things and remember that your office, if you exercise good judgment, you will gain a good degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. And for that, we all said, yes, I do. May the Lord God help us. It is not easy sometimes to keep vows, to keep promises. You become wretched and miserable like Jephthah. But we have already given our word. And we cannot go back. We cannot break the vow. Let us follow the example of Jephthah. That in death in life, we will say, oh God, we have opened our mouth to you. And no matter how the ministry will be like, we will live and stay with you to the end. May God grant us the grace to finish our ministerial calling and to keep our vows. Amen. Thank you very much. We humbly invite Apostle James Raj, the national head for the church in India, and let's, please let's be on our feet. My Savior, I love you. I know
heavenly Father. Thank you for the divine call upon our lives. We are standing here to serve you to whatever service that you have called us to. By grace, you have called us. It is a great privilege for us to serve you on this earth, Father. When we were out in the world in the darkness, rejected, you found us, you loved us, you bought us with a price and called us into this position, so Father, of leadership. Father, we commit ourselves into your hands, to your will, O oh Father, to your desire to be done in our life, not our will and our desire. It is your will. Let thy will be done in our life, Father. Wherever you call us to go, we will go, Father. We, you have reminded us of Jephthah and the vows that we have made before your presence, O oh Father. Lord, thank you so much for the love you have shown us. We wanted to follow you all through our life, O oh Father, even unto death. Lord, we want to commit ourselves into your hands and to serve you, Lord, for your glory. Thank you for that divine grace, that grace that which is covering us, O oh Father. Lord, be with us. Holy Spirit, be with us. Guide us and lead us. We surrender and submit everything into your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. When he saw her, he tore his clothes and, said, and cried, Oh no, my daughter, you have brought me down and I'm devastated. I have made a vow to the Lord that I cannot break. Upon the strength of this word, we will soon invite the general secretary of the church to announce to all of us who have made a vow to the Lord to serve him as full-time ministers and also to our elders, our teaming elders, the king, the king officers and members of the church. Some appointments, some, some transfers that the Spirit of God has led us to make but listen to this, brothers. Those of us who are ministers of the gospel, we are doing a great job. We are doing a great job for the almighty God. And let us go out there and do it. No matter where they send you. We have made a vow, but we are doing a great job. We are saving the souls of men, and we are chasing them wherever they can be found. Because of ministry, Many of us, excuse me, have become town boys. We have become villagers. But it's all because of the vow. Let us enjoy this moment. Because the Lord is going to send us out. The Lord is going to send us out. And then, listen to this. I'm going to read what is going to be projected on the screen. And then... Our dear General Secretary will come. This is one of my good friends. A quote from Oswald Chambers. If a man or woman is called of God, it doesn't matter how difficult the circumstances may be, God orchestrates every force at work for his purpose in the end. If you agree with God's purpose, 
He will bring not only your conscious level, but also all the deeper levels of your life, which you yourself cannot reach into perfect harmony. Go, don't be afraid. The Lord who has sent you is a great God, and you are doing a great job for him. What you cannot do anything about, my children, my wife, where will I uh, put my head? I don't have money. Leave those ones. God will orchestrate everything to a perfect end. You just respond to the great God. Shall we rise again? You called us. You've sent us. We will go. What our needs are, we commit to you. We commit to you. Take charge over them and give us strength to go. In Jesus' name, Amen. So let's sit back and let us rejoice in the Lord as our general secretary calls out what God has helped us to do. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, our big brother, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Dearly beloved in the Lord, on behalf of the Executive Council, I present to you some of the decisions that were taken during the meetings. Appointment to Regional Coordinating Committee Coordinators. The following have been appointed RCC coordinators effective 1st September 2022. Apostle Mike Kwame Etru has been appointed RCC coordinator for Eastern Region, Ghana. Apostle Sam Ajimantebi has been appointed the acting RCC coordinator for Europe. Creation of areas. Ghana, three areas, Duyaya Nkwanta, Atonsu, and Old Tafo will be created in September 2022. Missions, 18 areas and regions will be created in September 2022. Creation of districts, 53 districts will be created in September 2022 in Ghana and 41 districts at the missions front. New worship centers. The following worship centers will be created by September 2022. Love Worship Center in Odoko area. Mount Sinai Worship Center in Odoko area. Petroleum Worship Center in Achimota area. Paradise Worship Center in Kaswa area. Diamond City Worship Center in Kaswa area. Rema Worship Center has been reorganized to include Penal Assembly to form East Legon Worship Center. PIWC French La has been reorganized to include French Assembly in Medina to form PIWC French Accra. Reinstatement. We are happy to announce to you that Pastor Anthony E.K. Kuban has been reinstated as Apostle. Obasia Theophilos M. K. Ria of Liberia has been reinstated into the pastorate. <clears throat> Call into the ministry. Ghana. 114 brothers have been called into the full time ministry. Missions. 37 brothers have been called into the full time ministry and 37 brothers have been called into the full-time ministry and 34 to bi-vocational ministry. Upgrading to full overseership. Ghana, 87 probationary overseers have been upgraded into full overseership. Missions, 33 probationary overseers have also been upgraded into full overseership. 
call to the pastorate. In Ghana, we have 109 missions, 43. Change of name of region and district. Washington region in the USA is now to be called Virginia region. CP downtown district in Kaswa area will now be called Windy Hill district. Retirement, that was announced. 51 ministers will proceed on retirement by September 2022. Reviews and appointments. The following have been appointed lecturers for Pentecost University. Pastor Francis Bruni, and also as chaplain for STML, or school for, chaplain for School of Theology Missions and Leadership. Pastor Dr. Ebenezer Palam, Pastor Emmanuel Awudi, Pastor Patrick Tete Kudaji, and Pastor Johnny Pepra. Chaplains, Pastor Lieutenant Franklin Kumilati has been appointed chaplain for Ghana Armed Forces. Pastors Elvis Kofi Dankwa and James Eko Amwa have been appointed chaplains for Ghana prisons. They are currently undergoing cadet training. Probationary overseer ASP Thomas Apraku Debra is appointed chaplain for Ghana prisons. Traveling secretaries. The following have been appointed traveling secretaries. Pastor Michael Lai Jr. Pastor Joseph Ousubwatin, Pastor Fidelis Yabua, Pastor Samuel Menu, Pastor Samson K. Boache, Pastor Joseph Bamembaya Pemnyam, pardon me if I didn't pronounce it rightly, Pastor Robert Juma, and Pastor Robert Juma. Youth pastors, the following have been appointed area youth pastors Pastor Emmanuel Opoku Mensa. Pastor Enoch Amwa and Probationary Overseer Professor Vincent Luger. Birmingham Christian College Principal. Pastor William Doe Kugwajo has been appointed Principal of the Birmingham Christian College in the UK. Pensa International Coordinating Team. The following have been reviewed for a further term. Elder Dr. Patrick L. Adonu Coordinator. Dickness Eunice Inketia Ado, Secretary, Elder Kofi Ousubwache, Elder James Edufo, Elder Dr. Samuel Osei, Elder Alfred Yamwa, Dickness Gifty Tremartin, Elder Dr. Emmanuel Silvaque, Elder Dr. Kwejo Bwache Bwedu, Deacon Michael Benson, Dickness Robert Rebecca Esuman, and Pastor Ebenezer Hagan, the patron and youth director. Pastor Samuel Yabu Asari replaces Overseer Daniel Nana Ose Mensa. Pastor Jonathan Ebokwe replaces Pastor Franklin Kumi Lati. Overseer Mitaran Taja replaces Elder Stephen Finjab Wanji. Elder Newhan S. Sua replaces Elder Dr. Unile Benga. Elder Charles Mensah replaces Elder Dr. Biava Kluche. Pastor David Akili Lwindi is appointed member to replace the rep to represent the East African Bloc, which was originally merged with the Central African Bloc. And Elder Samson Ali replaces Elder Ebenezer Dia. The Finance Board. Elder Apostle, sorry, Apostle Daniel K. Depo has been appointed member to replace Apostle Samuel Joe Obobi. Elders Danso, Samuel Danso and lawyer Richard Asaribafo have been appointed members to replace Elders Samuel J. and Elisha Esiedu Amponsa. Pentecost Hospital Board, Elder Harrison and Kuma Sapon has been appointed member. He replaces Apostle Lawrence Sutunyako the third. The other members of the board have been reviewed to serve another term. Music Committee, Deaconess Eunice Akufu, 
and Gina Deaconesses Unisa Kufu and Gina Asante have been appointed members. They replace Elder Kwesi Miriku and Deaconess Margaret Ankuma. Pentecost Convention Center. Apostle Sylvester Ahin is appointed chairman to replace Prophet James Osei Ameniampo. Pastor Prince Odum has been appointed center manager to replace center manager for Pentecost Convention Center. He replaces Pastor Ben Akwete Noy. Elder Robert Mensah replaces jo Elder Robert Mensah replaces Elder Joseph Kofi Amankwa. Elder Augustine Sapon has now has been appointed member. Also, Deaconess Mary and Kuma Sapon have been appointed member to replace Deaconess Angela Piazza. Lawyer Benjamin Ampoma Boatin and Mrs. Diana Fremanyako have been reviewed to serve for another term as members. National Discipleship and Leadership Committee Development Committee. Apostle Buduteria replaces Apostle Vincent Ananident as member. Pastor Samuel Ezi Davison is appointed a member of the committee. Pastor Usu Boastin is reviewed for another term. Elder Eric Atasonu replaces Apostle William Boachi Ejako as member. Pentecost Ministers Welfare Fund, formerly Pension Board. Apostle Lawrence Utunyaku replaces Apostle David T. Tepe. Elder Enoch Benjamin Donko replaces Elder Samuel Enchi. Elder Nathan Kwafo has been reviewed to serve for another term. Elder Lawyer JJV has also been reviewed for another term. Press Board of Directors. Elder Benjamin Anaman is reviewed to serve another term. Lawyer Bernard Busompra is also reviewed to serve another term. Literature Committee. Dickness Rita Yedu is reviewed to serve another term. Constitutional Amendment Committee. Dickness Justice Elizabeth Ankuma has been appointed member of the committee. Ministerial Committee. Prophet David Kankambedi to replaces Prophet James Ose Ameniampo. Prophet Samuel Tetedoku replaces Prophet Ebenezer Apia. Chieftaincy Ministry Co Committee. Apostle Vince Santana Nidenta has been appointed coordinator of the ministry. Now, Chairman, some new ministries or committees have been formed. Two new committees have been formed. They are the Research and Development and Prison Ministry Committees. For the Research and Development Committee, the following are the members. Pastor Professor William Utu Ellis, Chairman. Apostle Dr. Lord Elam Donko Yike, Co-opted Member. Apostle Vincent Ananidete, Co-opted Member. Apostle Lawrence Utunya Akufad, Member. Apostle Dr. Christian Chepe, Member. Apostle Emmanuel Mafu, Member. Elder Dr. Ousu Seche, Member. Elder Professor Justin Bawale, Member. Deaconess Dr. Mrs. Jemima Kaman Lumuti, member. Deaconess Professor Alice Mensa, member. Deaconess Mariami Disquit, member. Prisons Ministry Committee. Apostle A.D.P. James Tete, chairman. Pastor D.S. Mimoses Anima, member secretary. Elder ADP Lawyer Charles Amiya, member. Elder James Nyan, member. Elder Augustine Sapon, member. Deaconess Juliana Ousu, member. M Mr. Isaac Kuma Yeboah, member. Elder Richard Ameni, member. And Deaconess Obey, member. New Pensa Sector. Techiman Center has been created comprising Techiman and Kintampo areas. Chairman, other appointments. Apostle Philip Osel Corsa has been appointed director of the counseling unit at the headquarters. He replaces Overseer Professor Joseph Osafwedu. 
Pastor Prince Odum has been appointed center manager for Pentecost Convention Center. He replaces Pastor Ben Akwaitenoy. Pastor Daniel Apia has been appointed research and development coordinator. Professional Overseer Abubakar Diallo Suleiman is appointed Home and Urban Missions Pastor for the Volta sector, that is Volta region and OT region. Professional Overseer Emmanuel Mafo is appointed Strategic Programs Coordinator for PENSOS, that's Pentecost Social Services. Professional Overseer James Amwa Mensa is appointed Home and Urban Missions Pastor for Accra Sector. He replaces Pastor Joseph Kweku Ta Apia. Medical leave. Apostle Samuel Obiechen, the National Head of the Netherlands, has been given a six-month medical leave. Apostle Emmanuel Enin, the National Head for Austria, has also been given a one-year medical leave. Pastor Ben Ampiabedu has also been given one-year medical leave. Resumption from medical leave. We are happy to inform the House that Pastor Tasembedo Idrissa of Burkina Faso has resumed duty from medical leave. Pastor Samuel Amo Boatin has also resumed duty from medical leave. Amen. Amen. End of missionary duty. The following ministers will end their missionary duties by September 2022. Apostle Dr. Diodene Komla Nuekwe, Apostle Semenya Yao Dogbe, Apostle Michael Ajimbrefo, Apostle Isaac Anane Safo, Pastor Samuel Jojo Forsen, Pastor Francis Ajimai Bedu, Pastor Daniel Mirku Jamra, and Pastor Ulrich Dizeri. Call to missions. The following ministers have been called to missions. They are Apostle Eric Jambibi Boatin, Pastor Godwin Nana Ofori, Pastor Anthony Ose Seche Quatin, Pastor Elvis, Pastor Anthony Ousu Seche Quatin, sorry, Pastor Elvis Ochre Boatin, Pastor Thompson Edufo. Please, I want to drop the titles and move on. Joseph Ta Apia, Chrissy Benter Addison, Norman Apia Dankwa, Isaac Kaiku Kwashi, Lawrence Odru Nyakon, Tieba Jonas, Daniel Dompre, Kwachi Mansa, Emmanuel Sika Kwame, George Ofori, Frank Eisi, Benjamin Denchi, Seth Samuel Asante, Andrew Aqua, Richard Yaokwache, Edwin Matthew, George Fernandez, Thomas Akono, Francis Yao Amuzu and Jeff Afo. Call to the Office of Evangelist. Pastor Stephen Amwakukumi has been called to the Office of Evangelist. Regional, yeah. Pastor Samuel Amwakukumi, U.S. Sorry. Pastor Stephen Amwakukumi, thank you very much. USA has been called to the Office of Evangelist. Chairman, regional and area heads. Fred Entry, please have dropped the titles. Fred Entry, Samuel Tetedoku, Stephen Ochre Achampong, Eric Jacham, Godwin Kofi Ajahili, Isaac Kofi Anain, Daniel Mriku Jamra, Norman Apiadankwa, Anthony O. S. Quartin, Francis Ajimambedu, Abraham Arthur, James Autry, Josephine Saki, Eric Mafo Setre, Michael Tedoku, Joseph Osafo Akoto, Ebenezer Tei Mensa Kwame, Anamba Godregu, Joseph Prabhu, Kwesi Apia, George Amon, James Alfred Kweku, Gabriel Arianda, Isaac Dio, Tia Wessa, Dizeri Cheseri, 
Godfred and Godfred Kasigwa, called to the office of apostles. The following ministers have been called to the office of apostle. David Ni Adopapu, Samuel Kwabina Asari, Samuel Ezi Davison, Isaac Enim Amate, Daniel Mreku Jamra, Norman Apiadankwa, Anthony O. S. Quartin, James Autry, Kofi Eje Somua, Michael Tedoku, Benjamin Abwaje, Eric Mafusetre, Kwesi Kofi Matthias, Josephine Saki, Roland J. Dixon, Joseph C. Donko, Emmanuel Santamo Ntienyi. My Jesus, I love you. I know thou art mine for thee. All the blessings Let's sing of sin I resign my grace. Prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, called Niger, Lucio of Syrian, Manian, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetra, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me, for me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. We have graciously received a list of apostles, some area and regional heads, and some missionaries. We want to do just as our forebears did. We want to pray for them and send them off. God has separated them to himself. So at this juncture, I want to respectfully ask the General Secretary to call out those who have been called into the office of apostleship. Thank you. You can please have your seat. Please, if you hear your name, you, you come forward. David Ni Adupapu. Samuel Kwabna Asari. Samuel Ezi Davison, Isaac Enim Amati. Let's be making I want your to make way sure that you are forward, here. please. So David, Samuel, Samuel, Isaac. Then Daniel Mreku Jamra. Norman Apia Dankwa. Anthony Quartin. James Autry. Kofia J. Somua, Michael Tedoku, Benjamin Abwaje, Eric Mafusetre, Kwesi Kofi Matthias, Joseph Finn Saki, Roland J. Dixon, 
Joseph C. Donko and Emmanuel Santa, Santamu in Tia. Please, if I don't mention your name correctly, pardon me. So those of you who are here, please come. And if you are hearing us and you are joining us remotely, um, you can also stand up wherever you are. We will be praying for you. So brothers, these are apostles that the Lord has given us. And we want to pray for them, that the hand of the mighty one will be upon them, so that by their inclusion, the church of Pentecost will continue to move forward. Shall we rise to our feet now? We want to ask all of us to lift up our hands towards them, stretch off your hand towards them, and let us pray for our dear apostles. shall now respectfully ask our missions director, Apostle Ajiman Bequin, to on our behalf, say a word of prayer for our dear apostles. You don't call golden vessels, but you call yielded vessels. Those who yield to you You accept them. These brothers of ours and your servants, O oh God, are standing before you. They are unworthy servants called to duty. But they are human, frail, vulnerable. I pray in the name of Jesus. What is ahead of them and what they will go through through your grace let this be evident from today yes Lord. let your hand be upon them clothe them with your grace and clothe them with your power in hardship with tongues in their flesh they will not abandon this work but they will continue to serve you to the end until the end let signs mm. wonders miracles mm. the breaking of chains and shackles mm. be indicators in their ministries that wherever they stand, let the heavens open for them. Let souls run to you. Pray, O oh Holy Spirit, consume their weaknesses. Weaknesses of tongue, weaknesses of body, weaknesses of flesh. Consume and set them ablaze for this task, O oh God. Oh, I pray. That they will never become a disappointment to the kingdom and to the church of Pentecost. That will forever bless your name for their lives. Anoint their eyes. Jesus' name. That they will see. Open their ears. That they will hear. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, brothers. We want to thank God for your lives. Today, he has lifted you to this high office. So there's no need to lift yourself again. The best you can do is to humble yourself and do his bidding. And I know that because of you, the church is going to be blessed. God bless you. Shall please stand and face the crown. Behold, your new... Apostles, shall we put our hands together for the Lord? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will never lack leaders in his church. He will bring them from wherever they are. Amen. Please have your seats and may the Lord be with you. We will take the regional and area heads. Thank you. They are Fred Entry, Samuel Tete Doku, Stephen Ochre Achampo. Please, you hear me and come forward. Fred Entry, Samuel Tete Doku, Stephen Ochre Achampo, Eric Jacham, Godwin Kofi Ajahile, Isaac Kofi Anai. Daniel Mriku Jamra, Norman Apia Dankwa, Anthony Kwatin, Francis Ajimai Bedu Emmanuel. Uh, Ibn th those we just prayed for don't come back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Fred Entry, Stephen Samote Tadoku, Stephen Ochre Achampo, Eric Jacham, Godwin Kofi Adhili. Ajahili. Ajahili. Sorry. Is Ajahili here? Azahili is not here. Isaac Kofi Annan. Daniel Mriku Jamina. Norman Apia Dankwa. Anthony Kwati. Sorry. Yeah, this is Az Azahili. Azahili, yes. He's yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you are there. Anthony Kwati is here. Francis Ajimabedu. Abraham Arthur. James Ochre. Josephine Saki. Eric Marfo. Michael Teduku. Joseph Osafwa Kutu. Ebenezer Temensa Kwame. Anaba Rodrigo. Joseph Brabu. Kwesi Apia. George Amon. James Alfred Kweku, Gabriel Arianda, Isaac Dio, Tia Wessa, Desiree Chizere, Godfred Kasingwa. Yes, yeah, so those who are, who are connected to us remotely, please, if you heard your name wherever you are, please be upstanding. We want to pray for you from this hall. Um, Shall we please rise again, if you can? There's something about prayer that all of us do not fully understand. Why he knows them, but he still pray for them. One day he told Peter, the devil wanted to sift you, but I've prayed for you. Peter didn't have any idea that that was what was going on. Their end from their beginning is, is in the hands of God. Let us pray for them that none of them will be a disappointment. That because of them, many will come to the saving knowledge of Christ. Shall we stretch off our hands and let us pray for them? Oh, Laba Sunday. Beyond the road of the world of the soko by and the our brothers and your hands lord our brothers and your hands lord you make men oh god you made abraham into a great nation make them oh god into area regional hands that you yourself desire that because of them oh god this church will continue to soldier on grant them grace great grace in jesus name Amen. We will ask Apostle Ajay Kwati to pray. Mena nyame afire me se nya washe no Yeah. 
Today it has pleased you to lift from the quiver these arrows. We pray and present them before thee. We pray that you sharpen them, remove every rough edges from their life. That as you keep them in your hands as a mighty man, you set them the target, direct them where they should go. We pray that you stir yourself in their hearts, pour fresh oil on their heads profusely, profusely. So that it will run down their beard, the shoulders of their cloak, run down to the helm of their garment. In the name of Jesus, anointing that will break yokes, anointing that will break yokes, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. That you gifted them all the various gifts that they will need. Anoint them with grace. Anoint them with power. Grant them wisdom. Spirit of counsel and understanding. Spirit of leadership and organization. In the name of Jesus. As heads of this church. You are giving them pastors, pastors wives, elders and officers of the church to train and direct. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you grant them your word. Coach their tongue and grant them words, O God, that will culture your people and bring your people to the center of your purpose. Father, anoint them. Anoint them. Open their ears and open their eyes. Father, open their ears so that when the deaf call, they will hear. When the heights call, they will hear. Father and God, strengthen yourself and show yourself strong in their ministry from today. We want to thank, we want to bless you. Believing that you will not deny them of your leadership. Neither you, never will you deny them of your word and your presence. Let your grace abound for them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. So, brothers, we are grateful that the Lord has given you to us. Uh, if the Lord used me and us here as area has national hair, he can use you too. Only do not forget to connect to the living water. He is the source of your strength. God bless you. So please stand behold our area and regional head. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord? God bless you, brothers. Please have your seat. Now we take the last one. Call to missions. Apostle Eric JMBB Boatin. Pastor Godwin Nana Ofori, Anthony Owusu Sechre Kwatin, Elvis Ochre Boatin, Thompson Edufo, Joseph Ta Apia, Kwesi Benton Addison, Norman Apia Dankwa, Isaac Ayuku Kwashi, Lawrence Odru Nyako, Tieba Jonas, Daniel Dompre, Kwache Mensa, Emmanuel Sika Kwame, George Ofori, Frank Eyisi, Benjamin Denchi, Seth Samuel Asante, Andrew Akwa, Richard Yao Kwache, Edwin Matthew, George Fernandez, Thomas Akono, Francis Yao Amuzu, and Jeff Afo. Amen.
Shall we rise again? Maybe if we give you we gave you a chance to speak to them, to advise them, you'd have you would have had something to say. So let us speak on their behalf that God will have mercy and use them as they go out there to represent us. May the Lord use them. Shall we pray together? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We we'll ask Apostle Osman Zabri to pray for them. Mighty and gracious Father, the author of all existence. You have known these people even before they were conceived. And in your plan of salvation, you knew the level of which you were going to use them to accomplish your divine purpose. And the church today, the council, confirming their call to missions, we pray in the name of Jesus that your gracious hand be upon them. Father, go before them. Lord, go with them. Erect a wall of fire surrounding them, protecting them in the name of Jesus. Cause them to break new terrains in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you fan into flame all hidden gifts in them in the mighty name of Jesus and cause the visible world to testify that the hand of the Lord is upon them. Father, in the name of Jesus, externalize what is in them so that the visible world and invisible world will testify that Jesus is real. Authenticate their messages. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Authenticate their messages in the name of Jesus. Cause them, O oh Lord, to see your hand at work. That signs, wonders, miracles will accompany them for people to say that Jesus is indeed Lord. Father divine, I know you will do even beyond what we have asked you. May your grace, your mighty hand, the capacity to do wonders be their portion and may their successes in ministry as missionaries on all the areas that they will be sent lord jesus yes be seen to the glory of your name may their successes be evident in the name of god the father god the son and of god the holy spirit amen amen yeah so brothers don't be afraid of the unknown. Eh? The God who has sent you he has gone ahead of you. He knows everything. Always remember that he is with you. God bless you. Please stand and face our brother. Shall we put our hands together for our brothers? Hallelujah. Please have your seat. Yeah. Let's keep praying for them every day and night so that the Lord will use them. So the General Secretary will continue. So we have come to the transfers proper. Yeah, let's enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> it is part of God's, God's, yeah. God's plan for your destiny. Yeah. Hello. Praise God. Wapunoso. 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 Jesus, marching me, 
so starts. Chairman, with your kind permission, I want to present a provisional list of, uh, the total is in excess of 700. So I attempt half, 350. And then the others will post them. So interestingly, when you hear somebody has replaced you, then definitely you know you are somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that is the mathematics. <laughs> Chairman, the following ministers will proceed on transfer by September 2022. Apostle Philip Osei Kosa leaves Azim for headquarters as director of the counseling ministry. Apostle Samuel Osei Asante leaves Koforidia for Kanishi as area head. Apostle Gideon O. D. Debra leaves Kintampo for Atonsu as area head. Prophet Fred Entry leaves Bachuna for Dwayne and Quanta as area head. Apostle Daniel Y. Nsafo leaves Ephijasi for Old Tafo as area head. Apostle Mike K. Etru leaves Kanishi for Koforidia as area head. Apostle Abraham Swansea leaves Greenwich District. He will now fellowship with PIWC Tema. Apostle Peter Jameke leaves Aplau for Asukwa as area head. Apostle Dr. Diodone Komna Nuekwe leaves South Korea for La as area head. Apostle Patrick Asero leaves Odoko for Suhum as area head. Apostle Semenya Yaudogwe leaves DR Kungu for Takrade as area head. Prophet Samuel Tetedoku leaves Eskafo Amantem for New Tafo as area head. Apostle Daniel K.C. leaves Secondi for Dansuman as area head. Apostle Daniel Miriku Jamra leaves Madagascar for Axim as area head. Apostle Isaac Tetejuda leaves Zokakope for Doko as area head. Apostle Michael Ajin Brefo leaves Gabon for Aplau as area head. Apostle ADP James Tete leaves Ghana prisons for second day as area head. Apostle Dr. Lord Elom Donko leaves Birmingham Christian Kali to take over as the national head for the UK. Apostle James Autry leaves Amsterdam District for Amsterdam as area head and to serve as the acting national head for Holland. Apostle Kofi Ajay Somoa leaves Brussels District to take over as national head for Belgium. Apostle Raymond Odell leaves Israel for United Arab Emirates as resident missionary. Apostle Maurice Sanfa leaves Freetown area to take over as the national head for Sierra Leone. Apostle Moses Kagbo Kagbo leaves. McKenney for Freetown as area head. Apostle Samuel Kwesi Arthur leaves Texas for Virginia as regional head. Apostle Andrew Stonko leaves Virginia for Pentecost by Biblical Seminary in Princeton as principal. Apostle Isaac Anane Safo leaves Argentina for New York as regional head. 
Apostle John Kwame Apia leaves New York for Ohio as regional head. Apostle John Ofori leaves Ohio for Texas as regional head. Apostle Dr. Mbayani Mwagu leaves PBS for Colorado as regional head. Apostle Joseph Finn Saki leaves Vancouver for Alberta as area head. Apostle Eric Mafosetche becomes the area head for Southeastern Australia. Apostle Abraham Arthur leaves the Birmingham Christian College for Manchester as area head. Apostle Anthony O. S. Quartin leaves Sakumono PRWC for Abuja, Nigeria as area head. Apostle Norman Apiadankwa leaves Suhum District for Ibadan, Nigeria as area head. Apostle Eric Jambibibuati leaves Boko for Rwanda as national head. Apostle Michael Tedoku leaves Halo for Birmingham as area head. Pastor Godwin Kofi Ajahile leaves Akim of Fuanse for Zokakope as area head. Pastor Isaac Kofiana leaves New Atwabo for Mankesim as area head. Pastor Samuel Ochre Achampon leaves Efiekuma for Efijase Koforidia as area head. Pastor Francis Ajiman Bedu leaves Rwanda for Kentampo as area head. Pastor Eric Jacham leaves Ejoso for Boko as area head. Pastor Joseph Osafa Koto leaves Bronx, New York for Carolina as regional head. Pastor Elvis Ochebuati leaves Colorado region for Argentina as national head. Pastor Emmanuel K. Nimo leaves Lambarani district to take over as the national head for Gabon. Pastor Kwesiapia leaves Hamburg North for Berlin as area head. Pastor Kwesi Bento Addison leaves Canberra for New Zealand as resident missionary. Pastor Isaac Ayikukwashi leaves Konongu PR for Dar es Salaam PRWC, Tanzania as missionary attaché. Pastor Lawrence Sudro Nyako leaves Swami for Madagascar as national head. Pastor George Ofori leaves Abraham Aguna for Indonesia as resident missionary. Pastor D. George Fernandez leaves India for Nepal as national head. Pastor George Amon leaves Montreal for British Columbia as area head. Pastor Anaba Odrego leaves Rotterdam for The Hague as area head. Pastor Jonas Tieba leaves Bingo for Haiti as national head. Pastor Daniel Dompre leaves Edmonton for Cuba as resident missionary. Pastor Kwachi Mensa leaves Eliom Krum for Jamaica as national head. Pastor Godwin Nanofuri leaves Saipeman for South Sudan as resident missionary. Pastor Joseph Ta Apia leaves Accra home and my missions for DR Congo as national head. Pastor Seth Asante leaves North Dallas District for Israel as national head. Pastor Frank AEC leaves Atlanta for Panama as resident missionary. Pastor Benjamin Denchi leaves Richmond District for Brazil as regional head for Rio de Janeiro. Pastor Thompson Edufo leaves Pennsylvania for South Korea as national head. Pastor Emmanuel Sikakwame leaves PIWC Dar es Salaam, Tanzania for Luxembourg as resident missionary. Pastor Andrew Aqua leaves Dagenham District for Malta as national head. Pastor Edwin Matthew leaves India for the UK to focus on building Indian homogeneous churches in the United Kingdom Ireland and Northern Ireland. Pastor Richard Diakwachi leaves Dar es Salaam, Pensa Traveling Secretary, Salem, Salem District, Pensa TS UK for Singapore as resident missionary. Pastor Uric Desire leaves Haiti for Dominican Republic to be reassigned. Pastor Samuel Jojo Forsen leaves Jamaica for New England District, USA. Pastor Paul Ajiman takes over as the national head for China. Pastor Lawrence Asante is to have an oversight responsibility for Mexico. 
Pastor Ebenezer Japon lives Grace, Grace, Grace Land, PRWC for Quad Aso District. Pastor Benjamin Quay of Fair, Bedou lives PRWC Tema for Nungwa. Pastor Isaac Osei lives Cape Price for Nungwa in Shona. Pastor Richard K. Nyameke lives Kenton Chrono for Boade in Teshi, in Teshi Nungwa area. Pastor Samuel Adai lives Bamboy for Winneba PIWC. Pastor Solomon Kwesiche lives Winneba PI for Sakumono PI. Pastor Samuel K. Kumson lives Angomaso for PIWC Tema. Pastor Julius Kofi Semanyon lives Kong for Abuaso in Old Tafu area. Pastor Joseph Apia lives Station Nungwa Estate for Obuase Estate. Pastor Joseph Bedim lives China for Dowenya. Pastor Samuel Singh Beno Ukoti lives as Samanke Saman from for Takwa Akon. Pastor Charles Kramuapia lives South Africa for Ion City in Kaswa. With your permission, please, I'll, I'll let me crave your indulgence, so I'll, I'll drop the pastor, pastor, that will also save us some breath. Ousu Asar lives in Wanshona for Formina. Alex Asar lives J. Kruduya for Boshan in Swami area. Elisha Wuntu, Wutimbori Nambu lives in Sumura for Brekum district. Emmanuel Kobina Pia lives Drobo for Pia Dobris Bogoso. Mike K. Noshi lives Kansarodo for P.I. SMWC. Enoch Amwa lives Porting for P.I. WC Asim for Su. Pastor Gordon Wallace Kweku Konja lives Awaso for P.I. WC Sechiri also. Pastor Daniel Kwejo Gerson lives Snit Flats who for P.I. WC Akosomo. Uh, P.I. WC Akosomo or Agomenya area. Pastor Daniel Ajabin Kisi lives Patrensa for P.I. WC Tafo in the Fijasi area. Pastor Edmond Maunyo Duval lives in Sesreso for Konongu PRWC. Felix Oche Anti lives PRWC Odoko for PRWC Graceland. Kwame Apia Kase Pepem lives Techiman PI for PRWC Odoko. Peter Adams lives PRWC Akosumu for Snake Flats. Ben Noy lives Ghana Flag and Pentecost Convention Center for Asio Yaboa in Kwadaso area. Samuel Kofiani lives Obuase for Bachuna. Prince Odum lives Akim Oda, Akim Otafo for Pentecost Convention Center as center manager and as resident minister for Ghana Flag Worship Center. Pastor Daniel Apia lives Fremi for headquarters as research and development coordinator. Provisional overseer Dr. James Anthony Kwansa is called and stationed at Amanfrum in Medina area and also as a medical officer at Pentecost Hospital, Medina. Provisional overseer ASP Thomas Apraku is called and stationed at Edra Camp Prison. Provisional overseer James Amu Amensa is called and stationed at La Area as Ham Pastor for Accra Sector. Thank you. Robert Oforia Jimai lives in Koko Equeju for Kong. Boom. Harold Edu Boatin lives Aguna and Hanta for Sotium. James K. Bwedi lives Konongo for Roman Cortez in Asamankas area. Ebenezer Okukwe lives Kade Subi for Adieye in Takwa area. Ejay Mansa lives Bordier for Onwe Ejusun. Wellington Dogbe lives Brigade for Edukuru Mekwapim. Anthony Elonyi Ebe lives the ramp for Utumi. Charles Usun Pieni lives Winneba Sanko for Kwaso in Ejusu area. Joseph Apianti Amwali Perchi for Nkoko Ekweju. William Tetawayo lives at Dwejiri for Nkunchuwa in Swami area. No, no, noble Joseph, Noble Seth Hetu lives a Hiaman Chene Krache for Sefi Jato. Samuel Kwesiboni lives at Gomenya for Adwejiri. Samuel Amobuati is stationed at Manshia in Abuakwa area. Pastor Dr. Solomon de Graft Isaka lives Pentecost Hospital Takwa for Greenwich in Tama area. 
Pastor Dr. Frank and Demens leaves Adie Ye for Takwa Pentecost Hospital as general manager and resident minister for SK Bedu Worship Center. Pastor Dr. Ebenezer Palam leaves Gomua Train for Pentecost University as lecturer and resident minister for Lab Worship Center in Odoko area. Pastor Emmanuel Awudi leaves Nankase for PU as lecturer and resident minister for Diamond City Worship Center in Kasua area. Pastor Patrick Tetekudaji leaves Senya Kokwado for PU as lecturer and resident minister for Mount Sinan Worship Center in Odoko area. Pastor Johnny Pepra leaves Amasamaya for PU as lecturer and resident minister for Petroleum Worship Center in Achimota area. Pastor Francis Bruni leaves Edukrum Ekrapim for PU as lecturer and chaplain for STML and also as resident minister for Paradise Worship Center in Kaswa area. Samuel Kwamnakon leaves Sabonjida for PRWC New Ebrim. Eric Kwenu leaves Takwa Steer Sector for Adenta East Worship Center and also to double as Medina Area Youth Pastor. Pastor Eric Asari leaves Adenta Worship Center for Fosu Town. Michael Lai Jr. leaves the Fiamma for Takwa as TS. Joseph Ousubuati leaves Offensu Kofuria for Sunyani as TS. Fidel Siabua leaves Ochel Jokwa for Takwa as TS. Samuel Menu leaves Empire Jane Quanta for Mampo as TS. Samson Wache K. Wache leaves Tanga for Suhum as TS. Joseph Bamembaya Kwenyam leaves Isa for Mankasim as TS. Emmanuel Pukumensa leaves Takrade for Cape Price Worship Center and also as area youth pastor for La. Pastor Lieutenant Franklin Kumilate is stationed at Michelle Camp as resident minister for PIWC as chairman. Pastor Silvanos Kofi Alade lives at King Manso for Ashiye in Medina area. Samuel Yawasan lives at Otium for Akimoda. Abu Bakar Sadi Gariba lives at Samankasi for New Jabin. Samuel Kofi Yamua lives at Techima in Sita for Ajimbu. Festor Sedu Boatin lives at Wasankrai for Aputuja. Thomas Apia lives in Tobroso for Kokrobite. William Ofosu S.C.M. lives for Mena for Aguna Nyakrum. Gordon Kofi S.C.M. lives Braha Bebome for Aguna Hunter. Seth Kwame Ameg Blepto lives Dodi for Akim Otafon. Emmanuel Otujan lives Kenyans for Pankrono. Gordon Akun Adu lives Sunyane T.S. Sector for Alaju. Pastor Esel Kofi Ano lives Dawenya for East Legon. Samuel Kwesinti Amwa leaves Bunya for Bodhi Sonkoli. Edward Esando leaves New Jabi for Samankasi. Jonathan Amwa Kong Amwa Kwa leaves Aigbeta for Atebu. William Tetelate leaves Kremokrum for Fiekuma. Brobe Achampo leaves Boade for Mankasim Estate. Samuel Kwamina Bram leaves Kwadaso for Braha Bobumi in Obuasi. Emmanuel Kwame Apia leaves Suedro Mahojo for Sakumono. Lawrence Kwekwefum leaves Michelle Kam for Adiabeba in Zasqua area. Akwesia from Pon Amu leaves Koforudia district for Ashama, Lebanon. Joseph Tevia Kwao leaves Nuhum as TS for Koforudia district. Wolberforce Ado Wuntumi leaves Atonsu Bokro for Amasaman. Ebenezer Teria Mensa leaves Bodriasu for Huniso in Takwa area. Huniso, okay, Huniso. Mm. Huniso. At least there's Hun and then it's, it's all that. Robert Juma, Juma leaves Seshi Aka Chrome for Techiman as TS. Samson Kwami Jefe leaves Chief Aguna for Community One, Tema. Evans Edubo for leaves Konongo Extension for Ntobroso. Daniel K. Amuzu leaves Tebibiano for Konongo Extension. Martin Cheme leaves Abuaso for Tebibiano in Teshinwa area. Robert Kweku Jinase leaves Kuntinase for Aigwe Town, Kaswa. Vincent Ephraim Amega leaves Chifopraso for Obuase BDSO. 
Patrick Yabua leaves Mankesim Estate for Esikafu Amantem in Tekradi area. Shadrach Aduana leaves PRWC Ashaman for Michelle Camp District and also to double as area youth pastor for Ashaman. Henry Onsai Nyakun leaves Aikan Dubru for Feyase. Solomon Abunya Odami leaves Obuase Estate for Takwa Makrum. Upon Pepra leaves Brikum for Bordier. Samuel Kisia Jekum leaves New Achimota for Atonsu Bokro in the Atonsu area. Henry Kwame Kwabna Safu leaves Akim Odako test for Latebi Ekoshin. Daniel Kwaku Alote leaves Inkum for the Rampon Bogosu area. Frank Opon leaves Nungwa for Efijase District. Joseph Arize leaves Enche Edumla for Ola in Cape Coast area. Daniel Yao Avari, Avari Ko leaves Escado for Sankari. Michael Ofori AJ leaves Utumi for Bogoso District. Joseph B. Tasimbo leaves Jura SCM for Kenya in New Tafo area. Bogume su sepo a srochi sa na yesu to to continue. So I'm now on number 177. So if, as I said, if you want to go through the 700 plus, so I'll attempt 350. So if you hear somebody has replaced you, then you do your mathematics. Emmanuel, upon leaves and Kermu for Goshen in a shaman area. Peter Akabere leaves Kintampo Sawaba for Perchi in Kwadasu area. Peter Ansa leaves Amantinamai for Konongo District. Stephen Denchi Asante leaves Ajaka Manso for Sunyai District. Eric Mansa leaves PRWC French for Suedru Mahojo. Ebenezer Nate Traco leaves Bodhi Sonkoli for Bremai Eskuma. Felix Opoku leaves Donwini for Ntonso in Otafu area. Ntonso. Ernest Kwabna Adu leaves Dabuasi for Kenten Krono. Evans Halley leaves Konongu Frita for Angomaso. Frederick Asantilati leaves Tepa for Samankasi Enum. Frank Achampong Ejei leaves Humjibre for Banka in Akim Oda area. Ima Humjibre. Emmanuel Frimpong crew leaves Chapiasu Kwe for Yejin Suyano. Frank Kwame Agbo leaves in Sokote for Nakpanduri. Joshua Champo leaves a ball for Dabuase. Daniel Usu leaves the couple number one for Dan Newtown. Prince Yao Amwa leaves Kleko for Teshuniwa Estate. Stephen Safun Sia leaves Mampontiers for Sapemai. Clement Kwabna Santi leaves Tolon for Aria Bobasake. Francis Kofijima leaves Chambayiri for Akim of Fuase. Alex Kwesi Anson lead Borgantanga for Akwele in downtown Fanko. Gideon Yi Sunkwa Limbs Kokrobite for Beji Wahum in Achimota area. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if I've not added, I've not added the Achimota area, it's in Achimota area, Beji Wahum, come and rest. Set Ampoma leaves Daboya for Inkun in Aguna Suedo area. Frank Asuma Asari leaves Pampanwe for Chifu Aguna. Ebenezer Kwesi Ado leaves Asamanka Senum for Kibi. Samuel Blessed Kofi Abebio leaves Anyaso for Ejoso. Bright Kwesi Asuma leaves Seshri Jato for Techiman. Daniel Ejei Frimpon leaves Apemso Aguna for Kweut Praso. Christian Nimo leaves Gumwa de Rampon for Dunkwa Kedadwin. Patrick Chumasi leaves Osramani for Apemso. Aguna. Nana Kwame Damwa leaves Nakpanduri for Mahian in Anyablikma area. Samuel Gomela leaves Burai for Anyasun. 
and as Arthur lives Yeji in Suano for a brim Abiasi in Kade area. Clement Dansu lives Ayuabo Basake for Abiasi Dominasi. Brahma Amadu lives Bio for Gumwa Demrapo. Eric Opon Asoma lives Tikobu number two for Konongo Freetown. Emmanuel Blessed Asum lives Duakwa for Gumwa Chirin in Winneba area. Mark Ousu Ansa lives Dome Asamai for Fiapre. Emmanuel Esiao lives Navrongo near Fort Duakwa in Suedo area. Isaac Kluche lives Kojoboni for Osurase in Akimada area. Linus Yabua lives Nakwa for Jasekai. Eugene Tete Duodu lives Jasekai for Chufumampong. Isaac Bonsubua lives Mahia for Dobro in, uh, in Sawam area. David Kwabna Frempong lives a source of offense for Senior Breku. Samson Abredu lives Chifu Mampong for Nankese. Paul Mensa lives in Krofo for Wasa Ateku. Seth Tete Tewia lives at Tegu locals for Bechem. John Odoekran lives Ashiye for Insukwao in Kufurde Fijasi area. Simon Peter Eje lives Takwa Makrum for Ofako. Solomon Eko Ahe lives Okwe Gono for Ejosu New Town. Felix Z. Seshi lives Dominasi for Okwe Gono. Seth Euku lives Fena Sojansi for Nsaom District. Joseph Ankuma lives Dinsha for Sufo Miles 3 in New Tafu area. Felix Kwame Apeleti lives Flemon for Kwesu. Flemon for Kwesu in Asankagua area. Michael Oseli Sui for Chifu Nyenase. Joseph Walker Ose assuming lives Chifu Chebi for Enchi Edum Line. Daniel Kakeri lives Abra Jaban Krum for Esikado. Alex Fofie lives Tumu Stadium for Chantan. Samuel Asaria Samuel lives in Yinasu for Kansarodo. Solomon Anafo lives Onwe Ejeso for Kintampo Sawaba. Williams Asare lives Gim, Gimdabo for Makango in Atebu area. David Dalentin for Su lives Techiman Tanoso for Jura. Ishim. Dominic Obin Man who lives Tano Dumasa for Trifu Chebi in Dunkwa area. Victor Asantia Yim lives Roman Cortez for Tano Dumasa. Richard Echo Donko lives Jama for Frami in Cape Coast area. Ebenezer Katia lives Asankara for Brigade in Kaswa area. Patrick K. Bremen who lives East Legon for New Atuabu in Takwa area. Matthew Mpaba lives Chifu in for the Inchafusu in Dunkwa area. Joseph Kingsley Anochi lives half a Sini for Fensu Koforidia. Simon Kwati lives Bichiritanga for Edumakase, Edumakase Kese in Old Tafu area. Samuel Ejekum Frempon lives Nyakrum for Aikando Bru. Seth Kweku and San lives Zarungu Boiga for Zarungu for Bekwai Nampansa in Asante Bekwai area. Francis Tai Kano lives for for Swedru Chapel Square. Albert Asamoa lives Paga for Yanfo. Sinzan Noah Dari lives Chireponi for Jokwa. Yimano Kwabna Tete lives in Tunaboma for Agomenya. Kingsley Luta Udre Labi lives Piyase for Bojiasi. Gabriel Sona a Wallis Wapuli for Fenaso Junction. Francis Dankwa lives Angwamaso for Takra Se in Kade area. Michael Agbaji lives Takra Se for Paga. Solomon Edria lives Kuao Praso for Begro Udumase. Yasapon Aguiri lives Lave for Bolgatanga. Emmanuel Osei a Japan lives Efijase for Adabraka in La area. Samuel Mensa and Ponsa lives Duo Nadundo for Mafikumase, Zokakope area. Philip Aga lives Aboaze for Ejaka Manson. Solomon Trenebua lives Kwaso for Techiman Tanoson. Peter Mensayani lives Alajo for Swami. Israel 
Anna leaves Clo Agogo for a child to cry. Abraham Kinsley and Sir leaves Osura say for Kade Subi. Alfred Kodio Asi leaves Wichiao for Wasa Nkrai. Peter Roxon Ati leaves in Chance in Coco. In Chance in Coco. Or in Chance in Coco. For Giasi in Konongo area. Albert Fiati leaves Dada for Tetram. Maxwell Inti leaves Sola for Ebrahim Aguna. Nathaniel Eje Opoti leaves Nato for Bamere. Bamere. Gideon Ousu leaves Denodu for Eliokrum. Isaac Aqua leaves Nyange for Potin. Gabriel Eje leaves Achiase for Dada. Da Costa Eje leaves Begro Dumase for Wechiao. Albert Anderson leaves Chuchuliga for Biriwa. Kingsford Asuma leaves De De Senyurako for Chuchuliga. Samuel Ewa leaves Biriwa for Solar District. Benjamin Elijah Bedu leaves Banda Bila for Inkonya Ropon. Edward Kwabna Fosu leaves Inkonya Ropon for Ateche in Dunkwa area. Justice Adani, Adani Trini, Adani Trini leaves Ateche for Fienya Estates. Patrick Ayete leaves Tetram for Ogwa Abra. Nathaniel Amu leaves Pungrubu for Mankesim Nananum. Eiram Jotepe Napoleon leaves Banka for Tatale. James Fosu Apia leaves Makango for Ahumahumason. Richard Osei leaves Abraham Abeyase for Dominance. Emmanuel Kobina Taxi leaves Abeyase Dominance for Pata Boaso Nkwanta. Evangelist Yankee leaves Borga Estates for Manson Quanta. Stephen Kwabna Adadi leaves Vieri for Sefi Akakrum. Abraham Anyudoho Ayivi leaves Nive for Agoti Kope in Samom area. Isaac Berko leaves Tatale for Wasa Dunkwao. Kweku Ousu Buedu leaves Bopa for Senase. Senase, Senase in Senase in Berkum area. Hayford entry contour leaves Tajevu for Totra Sujedu. Frank Labi leaves Mame Crob of Chufopraso. Samuel Amu leaves Senyeja for Samanka Saman from Ebenezer of Forianso leaves Mankasim Nananum for numerous. Nicholas Achampon leaves Kakiasi for Mame Crobo. Richard Abwaji leaves Akim Banso for Bonyere and Bonyere in Axim. Samuel Arimpika Asanyuri leaves Boji Sango for Pungurugu. Othniel Edu Donko leaves Afuakon for Kuntinase. Stephen Labi leaves Adiemra for Tepa District. James Kusi Ousu leaves Gambaga for Esumura. Daniel Okechre Ameyao leaves Sunyai for Suhum. Benedict Ahiabu leaves Ayom so for Achiase. Stephen Mansa leaves a chairman from for Akotochi. Emmanuel Bota leaves in Ken Council for Bodhidango. Prince Emmanuel Yao Jamedo leaves Grumo for Senija. Samuel Kwesi Menu leaves and Tria Jane Quanta for Akim Banson. Daniel Mau Trieni Trieni Tete leaves Jimbari for Ancestral Joseph Indayinasa Indayinase. Indayinase. Joseph Indayinase leaves Donko Crow for New Archivata. Thank you, sir. Emmanuel Ampon Sakuna leaves Mirugu for Odumase. James Boachi Yadom leaves Kwansa Chrome for Akin Manson. Eric Amankwa leaves Abotuase Lakeside for Afuakon in Asante Bakwai. Daniel Kweku Mpanga leaves Nyoli for Senya Kokwado. Juma Owusu leaves Chindere, Chindere for Chindere. For Chindere, for <laughs> all right, Chindere for Kwame Danso, 
Father, me. He fought Kofia Pia leaves Castle for entry again. Quanta Peter Ato Hanson leaves Searcher Crobo for Chindere. Godwin Bobby leaves Senior C for Take Home Number One. Roderick Shre Jan leaves Kwame Danso for King Council. Jacob Kwame Larry leaves Nanton for Half a Sini. David J leaves Kambantik. Kambantiak for Donko Krum. Ezekiel Amwakunyabua leaves career for Ayomso. Raymond Ahin leaves Abotanso for Kwanza Krum. Samuel Yausu Benchi leaves Nyankutre, Nyankutre for Ankemu, Nyankutre. Raymond Agau leaves Draft Island for Kase. Emmanuel Fifi and Sal leave Tali for Sechia Krobo. Emmanuel Safu Asante leaves Damangu for Eche Amanfrum. Isaac Afram leaves Loloto for Nakwa. Isaac Kwejo Asa leaves Tuna for Hamjebre. Daniel Inaku leaves Panda Newtown for Abuaze. Ephraim Kofi Ayable leaves Kumbungu for Bamboy. Charles Asante Boati, Asante Boati leaves Jawani for Kuntinase. Samuel Essien leaves Bandan Kwanta for Awaso. Smart Yirenti Intefo leaves Zini for Ampa Bane. Eric Yao Nkwa leaves Erimon for Petransa. Samuel Ejei leaves Kalio for Entryajen Kwanta. Julius Ayi leaves Babato for Bulga Estates. Daniel Mensamuzu leaves Mafikumase for Domia Samai. Jonathan Nate Oman leaves Bejamse for Achimpim. George Tremartin leaves Tenga for Esioso. Isaac Abednego Ampoma leaves Sambrugu for J. Krudia. Isaac Asamoa Edwin leaves Fumbiso, Sandema for Nkrofo. Number 341. Ovasia John Lamte leaves a source for Pipiase in, in Koko area. Ovasia Daniel Nana Semens leaves Patanga for French, for PI, French, PI, PIWC French, Accra. Samuel Kote, who are going leaves Nasia for Abo. Ovasia Professor. Joseph Asabwe, who leaves headquarters for East Legon Worship Center. Professor of Asia Thomas Akono is called and stationed as Azerbaijan as the resident missionary. Professor of Asia Francis Yawamuzu is called and stationed at Kuwait as resident missionary. Professor of Asia Jeff Afo is called and stationed at Egypt as resident missionary. Professor of Asia Abu Bakar Dialus Suleiman. Suleimana is called and stationed at Nkwanta as Ham Home and Man Missions Pastor. Probation of Asia James Amwa Mensa is called and stationed at Accra as Home and Man Missions Pastor. Probation of Asia Professor Vincent Logan is called and stationed at Techiman as Area Youth Pastor and Resident Minister for PIWC. The Grace pushed me to do this. May ye a juma ama erate on our frame ya swami metino Na Medina Samson, Na Sema Obeka Nuna Me, Me Ye Ejuma Ama Erade, Ono Na Wafrem Ya Sumami, Sam 
have been transferred out from Ghana and then if you had the 200 plus about 700 we couldn't call all of them here and so this is the few that we have been able to call but let us lift our hands and bear our brothers up they are going to represent us in the hinterlands and everywhere let us pray that God will grant them grace grant their children grace their wives grace and may the Lord use them shall we pray together in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray for them. Oh, la babaria satan da 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 babolo mokotunde Bino le manaya da 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 babolo gosundo do do babiri anda Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the transfers have gone out there. We want to pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mighty one, the God, we small, you know. Take absolute control and be a blessing, O oh God, unto your people. In the name of Jesus, Father, lead them, strengthen them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Rose so ten da 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 ba kitonde, be on da 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 ba seketende, Mama. May I ask Apostle Nico Tejani to pray? We give you all the praise and we thank you for what you do in your church. We thank you for every single step that you have led your church to take. We want to thank you that even when we are looking for gifts, we're looking for men to serve you, you grant us and you give us men that we send out. Your word has come to us in this council meeting. That sometimes you send us into unfamiliar territories. You send us into challenging territories. You take us from our Galilees and you take us into Jerusalem. Where we are not very familiar with. But when we walk in your presence mm. and we come under your unction, mm. we are able to tread and able to perform even under severe situations. Therefore, we bring our brothers who have been sent under your presence. And we ask that you will transfigure them. Amen. You will transform them. Amen. You will give them grace Amen. to be able to enter territories mm. unknown even to them, but known to you, the one who has taken the lead. The last time Samuel met Saul, he told him that even when you leave my presence, you'll be a changed man. So do we pray for our brothers that even as their names have been mentioned through this white paper, change them, Amen. increase them, Amen. fill them, O oh Lord, and give them, O oh Lord, direction, revelation for their districts and for the responsibilities that have been placed upon them. We know that when you give somebody an open heavens, they never miss their providential way. Provide for them in every way that even before they get to their stations, they would have known and understood, comprehended the purpose for which you have sent them. So that at the end of all things, before they leave their stations, we have the course to point at certain things that you have used them to do. Mm. We know and we believe that you have heard us and you do this and even more than we have asked unto your name. Be glory, honor, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. So together we will sing one song of praise 
to just glorify God who has sent us out to go and do the great job. Yeah, shall we have the VOP lead us to sing one song? Oh no, na na do ye so ye so, na ye ho wa no kware wa ho da. Hallelujah, we are say amen na, oni ye ho wa aye, amen na mo kawo no, na na do ye so ye so, na ye ho wa no kware wa ho da. Hallelujah, na na do ye so ye so, na ye ho wa no kware wa ho da.
colleague, executive council members, apostles, prophets, evangelists, and other heads, fellow counselors, observers, brothers, and sisters. Ebenezer, this is how far the Lord has brought us. The Lord of the church has faithfully seen us through a successful end of the 17th session of the Extraordinary Council Meetings. To him alone be all the glory. Acknowledge and sincerely appreciate that the dedication of the Executive Council members culminating into the success of this meeting. Brothers, may the Lord richly bless you. I'm grateful to counselors for availing yourselves in all our meetings and more importantly, the dispassionate but frank contributions made on issues brought before the council. On behalf of the Executive Council, I wish to appreciate pastors Chris Cartwright and John Glass of the Ealing Pentecostal Churches for joining us virtually in some of our meetings and using the opportunity to celebrate with us what the Lord is doing in his church. And above all, urging us to fearlessly pursue unfamiliar territories, our own forms of Jerusalem, as we strive to partner with God in possessing the nations for his glory. We also want to thank Reverend Dr. Henry Wideman for the fraternal greetings brought on behalf of the Apostolic Faith Mission of South Africa. We also want to sincerely bless the life of Apostle Im of Elder Emmanuel Boete for the message he gave the council this morning that the possessing the nation's agenda will be achieved by the power of God's grace. From the stage of the church address, it emerged that the Church of Pentecost has reached a worldwide membership of 3,914,568, which represents a, an increase of 8% over the previous year. It was also observed that the church in Ghana has a total membership of 3,333,654, representing 10.8% of Ghana's population. In celebrating this feat, we were made to know that having huge numbers is not enough. We should work hard to ensure that our members, our numbers translate into righteousness to impart the society as the vision 2023 seeks to achieve. We continue to, as we continue to go out to win many into the kingdom of God, we are encouraged to intensify our equipping mandate at all levels of the church in raising an army who will project the values and principles of the kingdom of God in all spheres of life. The state of the church address also brought to fore many other great achievements which the Lord accomplished through his church, for which we can be proud of and be thankful to God for. To God be all the praise for what he is doing for us. The Lord refreshed us in our meeting through his word, prayer, and prophecies, and we have enjoyed his presence. As we bring the meetings to a close, we are confident that through our deliberations and the many decisions made, we have been challenged to go and continue the business of influencing nations for Christ as we help mobilize a great army equipped to do exploits for the Lord. Fellow counselors, in our meetings, we took a number of decisions of which I implore all to be committed to. These decisions centered on issues such as review farewell retirement package for principal officers of the church, issues on estates, vehicle acquisition and user policy, retirement package for ministers on secondment, renaming of deaf deaf ministry, our stance on divorce and remarriage, a one-month global chain of fasting and prayer to intercede for the sick, 
uh, the Green Ghana campaign. And then we also brought you for some of our programs that are ahead of us, like the Royal Conference and then all ministers' conference. In addition to these, a number of executive decisions have been taken and communicated to the council. These include reviews of existing boards and committees, the formation of two new committees to enhance the Vision 2023 agenda. 459 ministers in Ghana were transferred, including newly called ministers posted to various districts. 51 ministers were retired from active service, effective July, August 2022. I wish them a peaceful retirement. Ladies and gentlemen, in our deliberations, one of the things that came up strongly was the need to project the standards of God in all our dealings in matters of life and ministry without compromising our long-held beliefs founded on Scripture. This we prayed to God for the needed grace and boldness to do so in our world today. Now, my colleague, transferred ministers. I want to reiterate the need to appreciate the fact that when you are posted to any part of this world, it is part of God's divine purpose for your lives. May you therefore see your transfer as God sees it and joyfully walk into unfamiliar territories with the sole aim to press on to take hold of that for which Christ has taken hold of you. On this note, brothers, counselors, observers, ladies and gentlemen, I now formally declare the 17th session of the Extraordinary Council meeting closed in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now, before I bring the benediction, because it's a formal meeting, I want to move for the close of the meeting. Any second? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so maybe you are in white, white. Yes, so we'll take Daniel say. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ. To him be glory forever and ever. And shall the saints shout, Amen. Amen. God bless all of us. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord? Oh, love us certain. Oh, bless. Hello. Please, as you leave.
want to speak to ministers of the Church of Pentecost who are listening to me all over the world. Paul uses so many words trying to define what ministry is. But one that I love so much is in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1. For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ, Jesus, for the sake of you, Gentile. Then chapter 4, verse 1 of Ephesians. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. This one is a prisoner for the Lord. Then chapter 3 verse 1 says, A prisoner of the Lord. He has been apprehended by Christ. So he is a prisoner of, but he has been sent to do only one thing. What the master has sent him to do. That is why he says, I'm a prisoner of, and I'm a prisoner of.